I should have you as well. We just got these in the post today. I needed a good universal charger from the light, the 18650s. Well, I then look and I found this unit. It does um, 26650s, 18650s, AA, AAA, AA, A, S, C, C, and D size cells, and all these other cells. It's actually quite a good little unit. China's got quality. And they've got this power bank kit arrived. How good's that? Also got the circuit boards for these batches arrived. They go on the ends, protection circuit boards. So now I'm gonna um, come up with a clever way to hack one of those into that little light. I haven't got any proper heat shrink that's thin to get on around this whole, whole cell. So I might try soldering one onto here. Put the board on here, but it's gonna run along here with thin wire. And I need another washer to go on here to cover and protect everything from the, against shorts. Anyway, let's uh, take some of these out and we'll check how this charger reacts to it. Very cool. So if you get a dead laptop battery and it, depending on what's dead, pick out all the good cells out of a couple of dead laptop batteries and pick yourself one of these up. Nice power bank. They're actually um, very handy. You buy it as a kit, you even have to stick this on yourself. I had to stick this on myself, this has come separately inside. Very useful. You can have up to as I mean, much as you want. You can run on one cell if you want, but it's not recommended because you're not going to get much of a charge on one cell. Up to 30 amps capacity. I'll get a couple of these out. Let's get four of these out, we'll plug this in. I'll get a little uh, power supply and see how it works. That looks pretty damn cool. This will tell me individual conditions of the cells and stuff. It's a very neat unit. We've got two one amp units and two half amp ones in the middle. Quality there, that's good quality. It smells a bit like burnt recycled plastic, but that's typical of China. But overall, it's good quality. Now, I'm gonna have to get the, um, I'll get the uh, USB power hub, a USB 3 power hub with a big high current 4 amp wall wall in there to charge this. Work well on that. This 7S2, you can plug two of them in there. Two chargers for quick charging for more current. Really cool. Wow, that's cool. Let's put some cells in. Yeah, it looks like it's full. Hey, uh, that's good. They tell me the cells are in good condition. Full. Very nice. This is a nice charger. I like it. I like it. I like it a lot, actually. Very nice. I need to take out of cells. Can do the big um. 26650. Hmm, 4.2 volt. That might be good for radios, maybe. As a substitute for C and D cell batches. Hmm. Quite like these sorts of batches, actually. So this has got a nice 4 amp. That's a nice automatic. That's what you want for charging this amount of bloody batteries. Both are all in good condition, all full. Brilliant. Now, if this doesn't charge it quick enough, this can, but this can only be pulled apart. I've only pulled this apart the first time. I've already clipped two of the clips. I'm going to have to super glue those again. Let's test the other cells. I quite like this. Now, all right, viewers, here's the other set. All full. This is our charging current here. Cell level. And it tells you which channel they are. So it will, it will cycle through which one, which one, which one, which one, and tell me the, the, how full they are. It's telling me all are full. Channel 3 and channel 2, full. And it will just cycle through them and tell me which ones are full. Half an amp going through there. That's my current indicator. Channel 4, here we go. Channel 3. Channel 4 looks like it and there's a little bit, little bit of the gay. Yeah? 
Both of them are full. A nice feature, I like this. Be very careful though, because if you slip the battery, these springs are powerful. If you slip, chom sort of shit the battery out. Now I've got to fill this up eight batteries. Because if I don't, I leave this spare, there's a pop flip out of the way when I put this back together. This is intended to be put together once, not pulled apart so many times, because those clips tend to break all the time, so I wanna um I wanna put eight in there, but I've only got six. These two need for the light. I wish I would have made it so you could screw it together, so you can just keep changing these out as they die. But for five bucks, this thing isn't really all that expensive. It's quite a nice um, DIY kit. All the protection circuitry and the charging circuitry is under this board. So these aren't have any protection whatsoever. So these would be ideal for this power bank because everything's in this circuit board that needs that protects these batteries. But nice chunky little uh, coil there, uh, electrically capacitor, and there's a little elevated circuit that protects the batteries. Bit cool, then I will. Then little button there, pretty heavy duty little button, so it's good quality. So yeah, good bit of kit. Crack apples and laptop batteries. You know what's what I'm a good use of one of these. Even um, I could even make an ever ready two seven six p nine volt reproduction battery for me old Astor HQV radio. I make the shell in the shape of um, Ever Ready 276P and put a graphic on it so it looks original on the outside, but put like a protection board on the inside for these. And I've got a little, um, some sort of a charging circuit for it that you can just plug into the, into the to plug the battery into the charger. We have to utilize the same output plug, the, the terminals of the battery to charge with. So you need some sort of circuit that will um, take a charge as well as be the, um, supply terminals for the radio. So the back sheet in on the outside will look pretty much original. But in the inside we'll have a set of these for nine volts and the circuitry that charges and protects them against uh over discharge and overcharging. So that'd be pretty cool. Let's get this out. Jeez I gotta get some leverage under that. That's not easy. Not your USB plug. Carefully there. Oh my god, that is hard. Let's see if I can pop it out. Too handy. There we go. There we go. It's out. Nice bit of kit. I might put this back together and give it a test on my phone. Okay, plug my phone in. It's only got 50% charge, so I'll plug into the 2 amp USB port. Charging the phone, 100%. 5 volt, 2.1 amp. Pretty basic L LCD. That's kind of useful. That's everything at this angle. That's everything, every character on the screen. So there's an input and output. 5 volt here, put one out. Let's see how good these batteries perform. Since I've um, had to charge this for a couple of hours till I got to 100% to balance all the cells out, because obviously I had this in that light and use a bit of it and use these a little bit on the. Uh, and when you put batteries that are balanced in a pack, you got to give it a good uh, run for a bit, then charge it to balance all the cells. This would be a good test. I won't put it together yet. I want to put something in here to uh, stop them from falling out. So these and all those, as I said, are all the exact same current rating. I might just buy a couple of um, high, higher current one Panasonic cells, the highest current available in the 18650 size. Get the maximum potential out of this thing. Shenzhen X-Star. 
Shenzhen, China, which is Shenzhen's the uh, China and Silicon Valley. Introduction, external versus premium USB 4 bellows energy charger. Ch compatible with these, NIMH batteries. So it's very useful universal charger. So I can also also do the um my other original batteries as well. Now let's see how well this performs. So for the charge for phone, how much power will this uh, lose? Now this original power bank I've got, they go in steps. So typically a power bank will have four lights on it. I'll tell you how full they are. Each light on a power bank is a uh, 25 percent of the battery's charge in the power bank. All the ones I've seen anyway, like this one. You have four lights, each one of those lights represents 25% of charge. This I can get a full phone charge and this would be about down to 75%. Well my old phone anyway, but this this phone here I haven't done a full charge on that with this yet. So it's got a bigger bit bigger battery and so they'll probably drain this down to 50%. Yeah, 10,400 milliamp hour. There's four 18650s in there. So, it'd be about the same performance. It does use a bit of the car because it's in the um, 2.1 amp, and there's only 2.2 amp cells when you do the math. Yeah, it will drain it a bit more on the 2.1 amp output. So, if you want really good performance out of these DIY power banks, it's all on the cells that you use. So if we use the highest current available, good quality 18650s on the market, you get really good performance out of this bank. Just glued some of the clips back together. As I said, this isn't really designed to be pulled apart again, so... It's one thing I don't like about it, because a lot of my intention was, so I can just use this to test batches and use them in the light, Balance charge them again, put them in here and get the maximum use out of these batteries and just use them like double A batteries in a sense. I could just pop one of these in my flashlight, some of them from not using my lights at all, put these all back in here and power back again. But these might have to stay here though, unless I put those um circuit boards on. I might have to make up some some uh, insulators to go in here and on the back to put the circuit boards on these batteries. And I've also got to be very careful soldering to these two. Don't want to, um, they will not like it at all and damage the cells. Also, uh, the old man rang me to love to me and I've got to fix up the bloody, fix up this uh, shower head of this place, which reminds me, I'll need the uh, thread seal that he wants. I want to change this. Put a new one on it, which is um doesn't leak at all. But this one, I want to refurbish it because that's a metal handle. And these new plastic ones, the newer ones are plastic, and they the uh, chrome oxidizes and turns green. So I want to get this thing changed and back the new um, valve on here. I'll refurbish this one with new only check the wash and everything because it'll probably be going back on there, or at least be as a spare. Anyway, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.